Flav City family, what is up? It is my man Art and I in the kitchen. We've been rocking and rolling today, filming videos. Right before this video, we reached a million subscribers, which is amazing. We're gonna celebrate with a huge live stream uh, this week. Uh, but today's video is all about jams and jellies. It's been a very popular request for a long time and we actually touched upon it during the nut butter review from last year. But holy cow, judging by all these jams and jellies in front of me, there's a lot of them out there. And now I really understand why it was such a popular request because 90% of the jams and jellies on the market are garbage, right? The main offenders to look for in jams and jellies are what kind of fruit they're using, excessive sugar, is it organic or not, and other ingredients. And when you do the research like I do for y'all, man, oh man, there's some tough stuff to find some real good stuff out there, but I did it. I found some good stuff. It's just very hard to find. You have to know where to look. And on this channel, we always teach you how to find the cream of the crop. So before we do jams and jellies, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those things are great, but the only way you get a notification when we go live is by pushing the bell icon right below the video. Enable all notifications, because every single week we got a lot of content rocking and rolling. Three videos and then three live streams. The live streams are a lot of fun. Right now we're still in quarantine kitchen making fun recipes while the stay at home order is still in effect and you don't wanna miss out. Okay, jams and jellies. I went to three grocery stores for this. Check that, I went to two. Art went to the other one, Trader Joe's, because my Trader Joe's had a massive line outside of it. It seems like that line never goes away. This section right here, Art, is from Walmart, right? So there really wasn't a great one at Walmart, and let's just walk through what I found there. This is probably the worst of the worst, okay? This is Welch's, it's so like cheapish, it's a plastic bottle. At least the other ones are in glass. It makes it feel like it's the real deal, right? So why is this the worst of the worst? Well. We go straight to the ingredients here, right? So, Concord grapes. I have no problem with that. You really wanted organic, but we'll talk about that later. Here's where I have major issues, right? Corn syrup, ouch. High fructose corn syrup, ouch. So two kinds of really nasty sugars, both are GMO because they're from corn, and a preservative really not necessary. But besides ingredients, please always look specifically at the nutritional info, added sugars. Uh, it's one tablespoon as a serving size across all jams and jellies with nine grams of added sugar. Okay, how much is nine grams of added sugar? Well, I believe we have some B-roll art we'll put right here. Nine grams of added sugar is just over two teaspoons of corn syrup, the worst of the worst. That is bad, bad news. So this is something you wanna stay away from. The theme of this video is try to find something that has no refined sugar added or in the best case scenario, have no sugar added, no fruit juice concentrate, maybe just a little bit of stevia. I'll save that for a little bit later. So this is not good. I don't want you buying that. Then we go to the other ones right here. This is where they start to look kind of good, right? It's like, oh wow, it looks like something I might get at the farmhouse. That's gotta be good for you. Well, this is Smucker's strawberry jam. We look at the ingredients here, okay? Strawberries and they have the same kind of cruddy ingredients afterwards. High fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, and no, let's go for the trifecta of diabetes, sugar too, right? Fruit pectin is normal, that's what congeals the jam or the jelly. Citric acid is a preservative that I don't really mind. We have nine grams, the same kind of added sugar per one tablespoon, but these guys are even throwing in a little bit of regular cane sugar on top of the fructose. So it looks like it's fancier with the glass. It's actually, I'd say, worse than this, right? So we go right next to it. You're at Walmart, you see this. You're like, wait a second, Bobby says you wanna get one without sugar, I'm gonna get this. Whoa, 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 Bobby did say that, but Bobby said to read the ingredients and they actually tip you off right here. When you see Splenda, you put that back, right? You run, Forrest, run, why? because we look at the ingredients and whoa, whoa that's, that's a lot of ingredients family, right? We got water, we got red raspberries, but then it gets scary, right? We have polydextrose, another word for sugar. We have maltodextrin, a food preservative made from corn, in this case, GMO corn. Then we have the pectin. We got some emulsifiers there, which you normally don't see in, uh, in jams or jellies. Potassium sorbate is it's a preservative. Normally I find that in lunch meat, you really don't want to see it, but look at this. Sweetened with sucralose. Oh my gosh, you guys, you kidding me? Natural flavors, and just to top it off, a little red number 40 and blue number one. Woo, Dios mio, you guys. This is one of those prime cases where I'd say this is worse than this. 
in a scenario where you don't have any options, I would have this. Why? Because I'd rather have the nine grams of corn syrup and sugar than sucralose. Why? Because sucralose is one of the cheapest inferior man-made sugar, uh, non, uh, non-sweetener sugars. Why? Because you think of normal uh, sugar-free sweeteners like stevia, non-GMO erythritol, monk fruit, those are best in class. Sucralose is purely chemically made. It's bad for your gut, but sucralose, what it does, it tricks your brain into craving more sweetness. Horrible, devastating stuff. They're throwing in food colorings and other stuff. Bad, bad news. So that's horrible, right? And then at least they have this at Smucker's. I'm at Smucker's, at Walmart. They have the natural one. What does that mean? Well, don't be fooled by words like natural and free range and stuff like that. Natural just means made with naturally sourced ingredients. So they can't put corn syrup, right? They can only put sugar that is natural. So this is actually cleaner. And we're talking about even a little more sugar there, but at least they're not using corn syrup. So this is probably one of your better options at Walmart. And then once again, don't be fooled by this, you know, um, farm stand looking kind of jar here with the nice checkered top here. This is Bonnie Mamen. I think it's a product of France. Oh, so you're going to call France. That's great, right? Let's see what's going on here, right? We got cane sugar. So at least they're just using cane sugar here. And how much? 13 grams. They're not telling you how many added. I'm guessing 11 or 12 of those is added. So to be honest, this or this is going to be your best bet at Walmart. The thing is, I'll get to in a minute, you really want a good organic and there's way better sweeteners to use besides cane syrup, high fructose corn syrup, all that garbage. The, the better ones, they'll use actual real fruit juice concentrate, which I'll show you uh, in a minute. And then we, I got to try this in a second. I was shocked. I thought this was art approved and he's had this art. Tell me what you just said about jam and uh, peanut butter. I've never had goober. I've always just was peanut butter sandwich. I didn't do peanut butter and jelly. He don't like the jelly. I didn't say that. I said that I didn't eat that as a kid. I just ate peanut butter. I thought Art would be the classic Americana peanut butter and jelly kind of guy, and he just likes the PB. That's crazy to me. I want to try that in a second, but we're speaking about jams and jellies, typically used for breakfast, while the sponsor of this video is one of the most epic uh, companies ever. It's Laird Superfood. Now, you guys bought so much of the InstaFuel and the creamers after our live stream the other week. They wanted to sponsor a video. So thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, Laird Superfood makes great Insta, uh, InstaFuel coffees. And they also make great creamers. The ingredients are crazy, but I had this for the first time last week. It's chocolate mint. How do they get chocolate mint creamer? And how do they make it? With fake natural flavors and bad sugar? No. They use real peppermint oil. And what kind of... Uh, flavorings, cacao, raw cacao, paleo coconut sugar, extra virgin coconut oil. We're talking about under one gram of uh, sugar per serving. And because it has the coconut milk powder, it has all four MCTs. This with the InstaFuel was amazing. The InstaFuel comes in sweetened and unsweetened. I like unsweetened lately. If you want to make a cafe mocha, this is hot chocolate with functional mushrooms in here. It does have a little more sugar, but once again, it's coconut sugar with functional mushrooms. You guys know how I feel about those. They're amazing superfoods. This is great on its own, or put a scoop of this in the InstaFuel. Or if you want OG, basic, unsweetened uh, creamer, what's it made of? Look at that. Coconut milk powder. Aquamin is calcium from seaweed and organic extra virgin coconut oil. It's one of the cleanest coffee creamers and coffees on the market. Try this out. They extended the free shipping on their website till the end of May. I have a link down in the description box. I think you're going to like this. I have it on the weekend. They're amazing. And thank you guys for sponsoring the video. I have to try art. The goober. I have a feeling I'm very sensitive to sugar and sweetness. This is going to be so cloying. You gotta, you gotta try it with bread. No, I'm going to try it on its own. I want to get that natural essence of the goober art. Oh, look at that. That is so wrong. So three tablespoons of this art has 19 grams of added sugar, which is over, oh my gosh, almost, it's almost five. It's almost five tablespoons, five teaspoons of sugar. You're going to eat that whole thing? I'm going to taste it. I want to try it, but I'm not going to take a bite like that. Mmm. It is so sweet. Oh my God. Mmm. Ah, wow, that's a sugar bomb. And it's three tablespoons of this. 
Sorry, that was disgusting, I know. Three tablespoons of this is a serving with four teaspoons of sugar. I'm sorry, this is where I firmly believe when you eat something like this with bread, you're combining, oh, the sugar's crunching between my teeth, this is crazy. You're combining starch or wheat or carbs with sugar. That, my friends, is how you become insulin resistant, spike your blood sugar, and become diabetic. That is, that is crazy sweet, wow. Okay, so Art was nice enough to go to Trader Joe's because every Trader Joe's in the city has the longest lines in the world. Art lived by one that didn't have too long of a line. This is what we're talking about. Look at these two. Why is it important to look for organic? Because all these fruits are made from berries. Berries are always on the dirty dozen. You really want to get organic, something Walmart didn't have, but they have it. So Trader Joe's, this is the regular organic Concord grape jelly. Art was FaceTiming with me. I asked him to get one of these. And we look at the ingredients here, right? So we have a very short list. I like that. But once again, they're using cane sugar. How much cane sugar? 11 grams of added. That's a little high, you guys. That's above the other ones. That's almost three teaspoons of sugar per tablespoon. That's crazy. So that, that goes out. But say hello to the first Bobby approved jam or jelly in this video. This is organic reduced sugar raspberry preserve. Organic, very, very important because it's a dirty dozen member. So look at this. Organic raspberries, organic sugar, and then pectin and citric acid. Fine, but this is what I'm talking about. Only six grams of added sugar per one tablespoon. So that, my friends, is a teaspoon and a half. Still, right, a little high maybe, right? But this is one of the best you can do for store-bought. So if you're a Trader Joe's fan, you're waiting those big old lines, right? This is the one you want to get. Um, very, very impressive. So Art, thank you for going to Trader Joe's. I appreciate that. After I went to Walmart yesterday, I went to Whole Foods and I got all of these jams and jellies. And just because you're spending a lot of money on some of these, these actually I got from Amazon, it doesn't mean they're all good. I'm going to show you the best. I don't want you to wait till the end. I want to show you. This is probably one of the best you can get at the store. Crofters is such a great brand. Just fruit spread, organic, super fruit. So I'm seeing a lot of things I like here. Just fruit spread, no added cane sugar, right? Organic is a must. And by the way, yeah, I talk about this a lot, but yes, USDA organic really is worth its weight in gold. When you have that certification, no one's cheating. You can't put non-organic ingredients. You will, be, you will be beat with a stick if you do that by the government. You don't wanna face the wrath of the government for that. So look at these ingredients. This is very exciting. So all these great fruit juices here, right? Now they are concentrates and they want to sweeten this up. So instead of adding sugar, they use white grape juice concentrate and then pectin and then vitamin C, the scorbic acid is the preservative, totally fine with that. So on its own, I guess it's not sweet enough, but they add a little bit of juice concentrate, but here's where I get giddy, right? Four grams of added sugar, for one tablespoon. That's one teaspoon for one tablespoon. Now I will say, not only fantastic um, ingredients, but I had it last night. We were watching uh, Sebastian Manis Calcio, uh, What's Wrong With People special on Netflix for the second time, because it's so funny. I had this, I had it on a slice. I don't eat this bread often, but when I, I'm craving like a snack, this is the best gluten-free bread on the market. I had Canyon Bakehouse toasted bread because it's made with whole gluten-free grains, not simple carbs. And I had a schmear of, I had a schmear of this. This company sent me this in the mail. It's argan oil infused uh, almond butter with fleur de sel. Very, very cool stuff. So I had that, Woohoo! that was so good. So Crofters is the best for that. But we look at the other Crofters. Be careful which one you pick up, right? Because this is the Crofters Organic. But to be honest, we look what's going on here. Even though it has the cane sugar in here, you guys, it's still seven grams, not as high as the other one. So if you can only find this one, I'm not gonna Bobby approve it, but it's not terrible because they're not jacking up the, uh, the sugar content, right? But does someone make preserves and stuff at home? And can you let me know, is it possible to make a jam or jelly without any added sweetener at all and just rely on the natural sweetness of the fruit? Because obviously, by the way, in case you didn't know, the difference between jam and jelly is jam has fruit pieces and jelly doesn't. But maybe you can tell me I've never made it. I'm not a canning or preserving kind of guy, but maybe the natural sweetness of the fruit is not enough, but I'd like to try it.
because at least for me, I don't know about you, I don't need too much sweetness, just a little bit, right? Um, so Crofters is the best. Another great one here is from Italy, right? Bio Nature, organic strawberry, which I don't know if you can see the color. It's like a muted kind of red, which I like because it tells me that it's made with real strawberries that aren't like pumped with any color or anything like that. But look at this, once again, what's it sweetened with? Well, apple juice concentrate. I don't mind that. How many sugars? Six, so a little more than the uh, no sugar added crofters, but another Bobby approved one right here. But let's just go to one of the best ones around. So this is interesting, check this out. Art. This is an online only brand called Good Good, and it's sweetened with stevia. They have raspberry, they have apricot. Look at the ingredients. It's not ideal, and I'm gonna ask you why in a second. So this is raspberries. It's sweetened with stevia and erythritol. I have to check if the erythritol is non-GMO, because if it's not, it comes from GMO corn. I mean, not ideal, but not terrible. I don't love to see, where is it? The potassium sorbate, right? We talked about that in the Walmart one. Not ideal, but what is so ideal is look at that. Zero grams of added sugar. The sugar alcohols are four, and there's one gram of natural sweetness in there. So they're just pumping it up with four grams of sugar alcohol. The same is true for the apricot here, right? Same ingredients. Unfortunately, they have the uh, sorbet in there, but oh, this has three grams of sugar alcohol. Now, what would make this better? Can we all say it on three? One, two, three, organic. It's missing the organic label here, right? Which like I said, is perfect for and needed for fruit because they're dirty dozen. So in my exhaustive research, right? I wouldn't say there's one like clear, clear winner because even though they're sweetening this, the Bobby approved one with uh, fruit juice concentrate, well, fruit juice concentrate still is a natural sweetener, but it is high in fructose. So I actually rather have this, but instead of adding fruit juice concentrate, I'd rather they use stevia or monk fruit, but hey, that doesn't exist. There is one a fan just sent me before I started called I think Nature's Hollow. But if you read the ingredients, like we always talk about doing, it has xylitol in there, which is a really bad sweetener because it's devastating for your gut and your intestines. So that's no good. Um, so I'll put the Amazon link down below. So yeah, it's not ideal, but I, Pick your poison, right? I'd rather have the conventional fruit instead of high sugar. So this is still pretty good. And then there's another couple brands here I got. I think I spent a lot of money on jams and jellies, but it's okay. Here's another French one. It's strawberry 100% fruit. So once again, when you see that, this is nice because look at the fruit juice concentrate it has dates and pineapple, that's classy. But once again, the fruit juice concentrate has 11 grams of added sugar. That's a touch high. And these guys make a great nut butter, right? These guys make um, Santa Cruz organic nut butter, but don't just rely on that because even though it's a few simple ingredients, we see the sugar there. And how much sugar do we see? We see nine grams. Ideally, avoid the ones made with corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup and sugar. Try to go organic because it really matters with berries and try to get the least amount of sugar added the sugar should be in the form of fruit juice concentrate, or in this case, stevia. So if I had to pick the winners from all this, I'd say the Crofters one uh, and the Superfood blend is delicious with the fruit juice concentrate and the good, good sweet jam. And it's actually very tasty. And if you look, Art, there's big chunks of fruit in here, chunks here. But to me, that's awesome because it's not too oversweet. Um, and then we have a whole video about nut butters I just wanted to touch on this, but you should watch it afterwards. Um, so I was at Walmart. One of the best ones at Walmart's, I love this name, Crazy Richards. It's $2.94. Look at the ingredients. What are, what are the ingredients are there? What does it say? Peanuts. Just peanuts. The only two ingredients allowed in nut butters are peanuts and salt. That's it. What do I mean? Well, here's a premium brand. I spent like $4 for this at Walmart. You're like organic peanut butter, boom, I'm gonna get it. Only two ingredients. So I'm thinking peanuts and salt. No, peanuts in palm oil. You guys, palm oil, run, run, flowers, run. Whenever you see palm oil, it, they put it in there so the oil doesn't separate from the nut butter, so it's more like a spread. But palm oil, you guys, is so devastating for the environment and so devastating for you. It's basically the same as canola oil. It's so processed and bad for you, you wanna stay away. 
My favorite peanut butter is actually the Costco. The organic Kirkland one is the best deal ever. Ideally, you want to get organic because peanuts are legumes. And this just has nuts and salt in there. This one, here we go. Nutso. And the best deal ever is at Costco. This is amazing because it's a blend of nuts and seeds. Look at this one, Art. Woohoo, look at those. What is the cream on top of the cake for me is the last ingredient. What kind of salt is it, Art? Celtic. Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt, you guys, is what I cook with. It's an unrefined salt from Brittany, France. And even though all these other ones, including the Costco one, has salt, it's your typical bleached iodized table salt. Garbage, in my opinion. These guys are using Celtic sea salt, one of the best unrefined salts ever, along with all these ch 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 chia seeds and pumpkin seeds. They even make a chocolate one. I wish Costco had the chocolate one. That is fantastic, too. Um, so that's it. But we talk way more about the uh, the nut butters over in the nut butter video. So check that out. So there's my deep dive into uh, jams and jellies. Art's going to try the goobers now. Um, make sure to check out the Laird Superfood Creamer. That link is down below. I would get the unsweetened InstaFuel with the chocolate mint. Make it together on the weekend with your pasture-raised pork and your keto pancakes. It was so good, you guys. So um, all that good stuff is in the description box. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The next goal is 2 million. We can do it right. I should be getting my gold plaque in the mail pretty soon. We'll put that on display. And then at 10 million, we get a diamond uh, plaque. So hopefully that comes sooner than later. Uh, that's it. Uh, two more videos going below us right now. My man Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Art. Goo bird up. Art doesn't eat peanut butter and jelly, sweetie. He just eats peanut butter by itself. He keeps distorting the truth. I did not typically, but I did every now and then. This is on bread, it tastes good. I never eat it just from the, from the jar. That's kind of perverse. So you're calling me perverse. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>